So as the computer starts up again, I just want to talk and highlight the USB stick for the restore. This is the restore disk and I just want to zoom in, no not zoom in, but focus in again. And this is a small um, USB stick. You put it in your keychain and it's really nice for when you need it. Uh, it has two softwares inside which is the Mac OS X 10.6 as well as the um, iLife 2011. 2011 2010. Anyways, uh, you plug it in and you plug it into either port on the side. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna refocus. And basically you have when you when you plug it in it prompts you to a new window and you can either install Mac OS X or install iLife. You can double click on it and click on restart at the bottom down here. Now it takes about 40 minutes to do and um, I don't really want to do that right now because we already have this computer set up the way I want it. We have um, Photoshop, we have everything inside Lightroom, what you name it. So I'm just going to unplug this thing. Okay. Uh, and we're going to close this up. We're going to shut it down and let's start comparing it to the MacBook. Now, in order to make this kind of fun, we're going to compare it to a really old MacBook. This is the original MacBook. This is the 11, no, this is a 13.3 inch MacBook, the early 2006 model, so now it's four years old, it's showing its age, um, and we're just going to have some, we're just going to compare this laptop to the MacBook Air. Um, some specs on this computer, this computer is actually kind of beefed up, it has two gigabytes worth of RAM, which is the max for this model, and it, it comes, oh, this one has, say, 500 gigabytes um, internal hard drive. So let's compare it now. Let's open this up first. I hope it fits in the frame. Um, and let's actually open the MacBook Air right on top of it. And you can see how small the MacBook Air is, and how thin it is. Um, it's significantly, significantly thinner, um, and it's a heck of a lot lighter. The MacBook weighs in at five pounds, and this one weighs in at a nice 2.3 pounds. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. It shares the same chiclet keys. This one's black. The MacBook is white. And uh, yeah, so let's get started with some, some testing. All right, let's do some testing. And we're going to compare the 2006 MacBook to the 2010 model uh, MacBook Air 11.6 inch laptop. Now, a lot of people go, hey, you're comparing a 2006 computer to a 2010 model. And you know what? It doesn't matter because a lot of people have this computer. A lot of people have the 2006 model. A lot of them have the 2007 model. And some of them want to upgrade. And they can upgrade to the newer MacBook. Or, you know what? They can upgrade to the MacBook Air. Now, I'm a huge advocate for this MacBook Air because it just seems to be perfect travel computer. And it's perfect for schooling. This computer can handle and hold its own for video editing it can also hold its own for light video editing light photo work and it can hold its own on like everything else like YouTube browsing um, it can also hold its own on full web browsing and um, music and video playback it's just if you need a computer and you need one that's good MacBook Air would be a great upgrade from the older MacBooks um, Let's turn these on and you'll see how fast this computer really is. Um, here we go. This computer has an LED backlit and it's just bright. I mean, it's just such a nice screen. This one is the MacBook that has, that doesn't have an LED backlit. And, uh, it's just a lot darker if you can tell if you compare them side by side. Um, now that these computers are loaded, I mean like the MacBook Air was really fast because of its SSD storage. Um, let's start up some programs. We're going to start with Safari. And here we go. So I mean the SSD storage just made that thing just go boom. Now we're just waiting for the MacBook really, just to be fair. And now that we're fully loaded, let's load up the next program, which is Photo Booth. Here we go. 
And again, the MacBook Air is just so much faster because of that storage space, right? And now that we're fully loaded on that, let's start up Firefox. There we go, one, two, three. And again, it's a lot faster on the MacBook Air, no surprise. Here we go, come on, faster. And now we're loaded. So, I mean, just to turn it off, you'll see how fast this computer turns off. Here we go. And it's done. Close it up, and you're ready to go. And the MacBooks. Oh, there we go for the MacBook.